Next database we are going to use is uh, LexisNexis, and I think it's a great one for this research narrative because you're able to search newspapers and magazine articles, which might be actually timely for the uh, time frame of 1970-1995 that we we're looking at. So again, you're going to be off campus. If you're on campus, use this, but otherwise, click on that, and I should have had it open, but I'm already logged in, so it's going to go ahead and take me right to it. LexisNexis looks a lot different than other search tools. They've really tried to make it more user-friendly over the last few years. But again, we're going to, uh, let's say we're going to look for our, our first topic again. Persian, did I spell it right, right? I should have chosen a different one. <laughs> okay, so you just type it, type it in and see what we get. is going a little slower because it's um, uploading another video. So we're getting a lot of information. We have 997. Usually it peaks out at 999. So we're just right in and you, you, what will happen is that you'll miss some things. So what we have is a lot of information. We have basically uh, newspaper titles. You can narrow things down over here. Newspapers, magazines and journals, newswires, so you can select on some of these. You can actually select specific newspapers if you want. Um, what I'm going to do is first turn on duplicate options, and we're going to get rid of duplicates. 989, so that's great. They're only like uh, eight duplicates. So what we might want to do is look at limiting the time so we need to first let's just go to oldest to newest we can use this this would be nice now we're going to look at the first thing so 1978 so that's a little too um, far back but there are plenty of different conflicts and that's something that you'll find out but if we're interested in a specific time period what we can do is go into edit search and go to advanced options. You can look for specific dates. So let us say 85. Go ahead and do January. Right. So we have that. One. Two. Let's say December. We do 88. Just for fun. December 31st. All right, so we have that. We have newspapers and let's say, oh, I guess we're going to use newspapers and magazines. We can check that, but we're not going to. And so we're just going to go to this, and we have this information in. It's a lot more user friendly than it was before. And we have a thousand and three. So it doesn't necessarily help us too much, but um, we're getting very narrow focus on time period and the issue being is that Persian Gulf War is very 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 broad so um, we're getting some information though Saddam Hussein, ship safety concerns um, news presses for a ceasefire but once you get some basic information about your topic um, it's going to help you out so we're just going to pick one just for, for uh, fun. We're going to get some basic information. We can see that 336 words. It's pretty short, maybe not a viable source, but uh, you can see our search term is highlighted. You will notice that uh, the information is presented in a way that isn't as user friendly. Um, you can save this, you can email it to yourself, um, and it does have a thing for you export bibliographic reference, references. It does not really work that well. Um, because it uses this RefWorks thing. So I've never been successful at it. Um, I'm just click the new window and see what happens with that. All right, so we actually get it, so that's good. So you can copy and paste this, um, and that will be a fairly accurate, we don't need the 366 words, but it's a fairly accurate representation of what should be in the work cited. 
You could also create it yourself, uh, which would take some work. Don't use something like EasyBib because they're not, it's not a very good source. But um, so we have that as a way to help you out to, to really narrow things down. If uh, you get some more information, go ahead and, and look at that, and I'll show you something else in just a little bit. But let's say we're looking at first. And I should have done the uh, the other search, the limited search, but that's all right. So we have 996. We're getting some information. So 2012, 96. Um, that might be interesting to look at. Um, so instead, we're going to go back up to edit search. Again, you got to play around with this. Find some dates. Fortunately, it doesn't let you go back any further. 85, but we will make do with what we have. I have no idea when contact lenses came out. Yeah, maybe company profiles. So we get some more information. 189, that's manageable. The new look at the mean of throwaway lenses, uh, concerns. So we're getting some information. And this is kind of cool. So we'll get some things. Um, what you're able to look at is the length, where it appears. It gives you a lot of information when it was written. Um, so definitely click on these. Um, there may be disposable still in the care. So this is some good information for you to look at. So definitely use this to help you find other things. Um, it's going to take a while, but you'll find that this is fairly fast. You're pretty good at searching for things. The last thing you can do um, if you're really stuck is you go to your good old friend Wikipedia. And you don't know how to get your topic narrowed down because you're still lost. Type in the information. Here we have, oh, dang. That's a lot of information. You can read through this, and this might give you something interesting that you want to focus on. So, 1991, uh, we have background, all sorts of stuff. So, you can click on something that's like, so maybe you want to look at uh, golf war illness, right? So you can study this, and then that would give you something to search for in academic search or LexisNexis. We'll just use LexisNexis since that's what this is supposed to be about. So again, it is golf war illness is what we call. And this is a, an actual thing that's going on. Um, 997. But there's going to be some information, and again, you can use um, your search limiters to edit your search to, to find things. You can also look at oldest to newest. Um, 1993 mystery illness. So this is going to be interesting. So you could actually find some great things here that's just looking at the very beginning of this golf war illness. So there's a lot of really cool things in your topics that you can uh, do. Um, that's why I like this assignment because you get to, to select your own topic. So hopefully this helps you narrow things down, find sources, um, and makes your research process easier. Please, again, let me know if you have questions, and have a good day.